Hey, welcome. In this episode, I'm going to be with Roz and his Jeep, and we're going to show you two styles of sunshades for the Jeep Wrangler JK. Now, if you have a JL or an earlier version of a Jeep Wrangler, you could look on the RT TCZ website for the types of sunshades they have for their Jeeps. But in this episode, we'll show you the ones for the JK. So stick around. Hey, welcome to CJTV. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. If you've seen this video right here, you saw how inexpensively you could take the top off your Jeep Wrangler and store it in your garage while you're driving around enjoying the Jeep with the top off and the sunshine and the fresh air. It's just an awesome thing to do. Then I also have this video where I showed you, if you don't have a garage, how you can take the top off your Jeep so that you can still get out there and enjoy driving your Jeep without the top on. Now, some people don't want to do that. Some people just take off the freedom panels. But either way, we have a solution for you from our friends at RT TCZ because what they've done is they've sent us two types of sunshades. One that just covers the front seats and one that covers both the front row of seats and the rear row of seats. Let's see how these look. Okay, first let's have a look at the sunshade that covers just the front seats. This is the type of sunshade that maybe somebody wants to save a little money because they know they just want to have some protection over their head when they take off their freedom panels. Because if you don't, you might get a little bit of sunburn and it protects you from the sun, it lets air through because it's a mesh fabric, and it also probably catches a few bird droppings that won't land on your interior. Let's have a look at the product. For starters, you get a set of bungees. You'll have, for example, three short ones, eight medium ones, and two longer ones, and I'll show you where they go. And then here is the sunshade. And I'm intentionally laying this out to show you that there is a section here where there's a grommet right in the center and this is where it'll go right above your rear view mirror. So that's how you know that's the front of the sunshade and this is the back. So now let's go and install this. Now to install this you certainly can do it by yourself but I was lucky to have Roz to help me along. We started by connecting the three short bungee cords to the front clips that the hardtop connects to, as you can see here. Once the front of the sunshade is connected, we proceeded to connect two bungee cords at the back of the sunshade on the roll bar. And as you can see here, the holes where the hardtop bolts go through are where the bungee cords are fed. Here's a view from the bottom, and here's a view from the top. And then the next step is to use the remaining medium-sized bungee cords to connect the grommets from the sides. You should have two longer bungee cords left and they're used to connect the two back corners. And once they're both installed, you can check out your work. Alright, tight as a drum. Okay, so, so far, this is the sunshade that is just meant for those who want to save a little money and just buy one that covers the front two seats because they know that they only plan to remove their freedom panels and not the whole top. And right now, the impression I have is that this is a really nice product. The mesh seems very strong and it allows ventilation to go through. It protects my head from the sun so I don't get baked when I'm driving around all day. Plus, you know, if anything were to fall, like any bird droppings, the mesh would probably handle that no problem. And I think it's really nice in that it's nice and tight so it's not gonna be all floppy. And it looks really nice, actually. Okay, 
Now let's have a look at the sunshade mesh that's meant to cover both the front and the rear seats for the people who want to take the whole top off or for those who have soft tops and just want to fold it back and still have the protection. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so now what I want to do is show you what comes with the sunshade that covers both the front seats and the rear seats. So what's important to point out about this sunshade is you've got these holes here. They're meant so you can still access the screws to take your top off if you leave this on full time, which a lot of people do. I also know a lot of people that keep these on for when they're camping and just shove things like towels and socks and, and things like that while they're camping as a little storage area. So you could use this as a sunshade, but when you put your top back on, you could also leave it there. Also, you can tell this is the part of the sunshade that mounts to the windshield area. This would be the front. And then you've got the bungee cords. And unlike the short one, all of these are the same size. So the sunshade here comes with some Velcro and shorter straps already mounted to it for the front edge. Unlike the other one that had the shorter bungees. Okay, let's get started at installing this. We started by installing the three Velcro straps at the front, but we did find we had to loosen them later so that we could attach the bungee cords at the rear. And with this sunshade having all equal size bungee cords, we just started attaching them as we worked down the sides and then at the back. And here's what the product and the finished installation looks like. What do you think? Okay, Roz, now we've installed the sunshade that covers the front and the rear seats, and I know you had a different model before. What is your assessment of this version, the RT-TCZ full four seat sunshade cover? So this one seems to be much better because it's tighter. When you put it properly around the frame, doesn't have wrinkles, much wrinkles. The other one, has a lot of wrinkles or the waves, which uh, doesn't look very nice. Um, still protecting against the sun, but uh, the Did appearance it... is not the same. Right, this one is like tight as a drum. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and I know people when they camp, they'll undo the bungees on the side to shove towels and blankets and, and things like that. Yeah. So it gives you that added functionality as well as the sun protection. It also reduces the wind noise and uh, I think it's a pretty nice product. Yes. What about you? Yes, it is. And I noticed they have the square holes on the top, so you can keep it even for the hard top because you have access for the bolts, which is holding down the hard top as well. Right, so it might be a bit of uh, work when you first install it, but then you can just leave it on. Absolutely, all the yeah. time. Well, Roz, thanks for letting us use your Jeep, and I hope you enjoy the sunshade, and thank you very much to our friends at RTTCZ. Thank you, guys. Now for some cheaper Jeeper tips. So make sure you check out the website for RTTCZ. I'll have a link to their website in the description section below, but also I'll have the link to the products that were covered in this video. But if you're not interested in just having a black sunshade, check out their website because they have other colors and patterns that might be of interest to you. And if you're interested in purchasing anything from the website, when you go to proceed to checkout, make sure you use the CJTB10 discount code because you'll save another 10%. Okay, that's it for this week's episode of CJTV. I hope that you found it interesting. And if you did, let me know in the comments section. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right here and the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. Until the next time. I'm Dino and this is Roz from CJTV. Be well, stay safe, take care.